We are just two days away from the first of the month, bills, rent due, and that will be a struggle for a lot of people during this crisis. Earlier this hour, you just heard him probably, Mayor Eric Garcetti announced an eviction moratorium for LA City businesses, but as CBS 2's Christine Lazar shows us, other small business owners across Southern California, they're still feeling the pain. Shireen Adamade's Thousand Oaks private dental practice was forced to shut down two weeks ago. It's the first time she has been out of business in 20 years. We can only see patients under extreme uh, emergency, per se, infections, and even that, I cannot see my patients because I don't have any N95 masks. Dr. Edamati was already worried about paying her $6,500 rent on April 1st, but things got more stressful last week when she got this, a bill from her landlord for $17,000, due in just six days. I'm shocked. I just don't know what to do. In an email from her landlord, Regency Centers, Dr. Edamade was told the additional charges stemmed from an unpaid rent increase and maintenance charges from 2018 and 2019. They never billed me. They never said anything. California is offering several programs to try to keep small businesses afloat, starting with Paycheck Protection, which offers a 100% federally guaranteed loan to businesses that maintain their payroll, and that loan may be forgiven. Economic injury disaster loans are now available, with up to $10,000 in grants within three days of applying. Finally, if you already have a Small Business Administration loan, SBA may cover all loan payments for six months. Dr. Adamati says if she doesn't get relief soon, she doesn't have a lot of options. If I have to pay $17,000 this month, I might as well just shut down and close my business. I won't be able to survive. We reached out to Regency and they contend that the doctor was aware of those charges prior to getting the $17,000 bill. She disputes that. Regardless, they say they will be reaching out to her and working with her so she doesn't have to go out of business. Christine Lazar, CBS 2 News.